I did it. I took the plunge. I just put $3,000 on Excel Technologies. The Hail Mary play is on. Hi again everyone, hope you're all doing really well. If you have been following my Excel Technologies updates lately, ticket symbol XELA, you would know that I had been contemplating taking a gamble on the stock. I was hesitant as I was spooked by the official notice of delisting, but after taking a weekend and a few days I, to think about it, I finally pulled the trigger on the order and purchased just short of $3,000 worth of the common stock. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the order, why I took it on, and what I think slash what I am hoping is going to come from Excel Technologies going forward. Like all my videos, this should not be considered investing advice, especially this one. So let's get into it. Now, unfortunately, being classified as a pink sheet stock now, I had to pay quite a large trading commission, which equated to almost 20% of the overall purchase. So you can see why Jordan Belford in The Wolf of Wall Street loved shoveling these types of stocks to his clients. Hello, he probably would have sold to me. <laughs> anyway, I managed to execute 30,000 shares at an execution price of 7.65 cents each, plus two cents commission, bringing my total order up to just shy of $3,000. I had to pay $600 in commission to secure the trade and will unfortunately need to pay the same to get out of it, as is as is the way my broker literature works. So I won't be in the green until the stock gets to just above the 11 and a half cent mark. Uh, the total stock value of the trade equates to less than half a percent of my overall stock portfolio value. So it is only small fry in the scheme of things. And I do want to stress that this is very much a bit of an informed gamble on my part. The thinking behind my gamble on Excel Technologies was that if the XBP Europe's partial sale goes ahead for the approximate valuations given by the company, then the company may undertake a stock buyback and reduce some of the mountain of debt they currently hold, which I believe would have a magnified effect on driving the severely beaten down value of Excel stock right up, which has lost an amazing 99.5% of its value over the past 12 months. Now, this sale is toted to be worth as much as 200 to $250 million if it goes ahead, um, of which Excel Technologies will likely gross about $100 million so as to keep controlling interest in the XBP Europe entity. Given the current market cap with Excel, any sort of buyback would have a really magnified effect on the stock price, I believe. Even just a million dollars would be like throwing 10% into the stock value. And you'd imagine that it'd be a little bit more. Then you have the added effect of market interest jumping in on the play. It just could go gangbusters. High risk, high return, I guess. Speaking of the topic of risk, obviously there are some risk factors. Chief amongst them is the now threat of delisting Excel Technologies faces. I did cover this when it was first released last week. I will link my video with those reflections in the description for those that are interested in seeing them. Uh, there has not been any update from the company since the January 8K SCC filing, uh, where the company spoke that they were challenging the delisting. Um, I don't suspect there will be any update until sometime in February, as the filing did state that they believed any hearing would be held some 30 to 45 days after putting in an application. In the event that XL Technologies does get delisted, the stock or company still exists. However, it trades in what is known as over-the-counter or OTC. There are some issues with trading in the OTC market, primarily that it is a much smaller pool of buyers as it is not being sold on a public market. And this can lead to having to trade the stocks for a lot less than they're actually worth, which given I paid 7.65 cents each for them, won't be too much lower, I imagine. <laughs> Moving on, now there is another major risk factor that the company needs to navigate for this play to work. Not only does it need to survive this delisting, but it needs its XBP Europe listing and sale to go ahead. This is the event that the whole trade I have done is pinned upon. If this doesn't go ahead or any subsequent stock buyback does not occur, it kind of scuttles the whole play in my mind. I think if the sale doesn't happen, I think it could even be a bit of a death knell for the company. I think it moves Excel Technologies into a position where they will likely need to engage with at least a chapter 11 bankruptcy to restructure their finances. I still don't believe they will go under entirely as it is a company that is generating quite big revenues considering their size and they have sought after products which lead the market. I, but I think the state of their books is horrid. So they really need to tidy that up while continuing to improve their offering. So far, I think they have only really demonstrated that they can improve their offering and have not done too much to materially fix up the books over the last couple of years. Anyway, I will continue to follow and update on the stock. Like I said, this is not investing advice. My investment in the company is very much a gamble and I'm only using a small part of my overall stock portfolio on this. 
This sort of level of risk is not for everyone. Like I said, it's less than half a percent of my overall holding, so it's not big for me, but it might be big for others. Anyway, what do you all think? Am I crazy making this play, or are you with me and you think this stock is eventually going to move? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, bad markets trade in your favour. Cheers.